Good afternoon, my realtors. This is Southern 207 giving you a brief update before I do go out back out of town for another mall train show. I did get around to hooking up at the track feeder hub from RPC Electronics. If you get a chance, look up Jason Roch. I believe is how it's pronounced. Jason, if you watch this, please go ahead and feel free to drop your link to your channel in the comments below. But I will tell you this much. This has been one of the easiest prod products I've had to work with. All screw terminal connection. And you can see you fit a fairly decent sized wire in there. And one nice thing with the way he does it, this is through RPC Electronics again. I I'm still still have to finish the electrical hookup, which all I was gonna do is tie it right into my track bus right there. But I'm planning on buying more of these. This one here was submitted for for review, and it's I'm very impressed with the quality of the product and user simplicity. So I highly recommend investing into his product. And so you guys are aware, he also covers NCE parts like the cab bus splitter and a few other items, including interfaces for Tauruses and the snap coil switch machines aka the Atlas type Kato pretty much all the basic ones that we all use Ugh. but I'm in the process of repairing some wiring thanks to a couple raccoons getting in here I've just been too damn busy to keep up with stuff and just for a future reference, for the, so you guys are aware, right now is a very high likelihood I will be going up and doing another show after this weekend. It's actually up in Sparky's territory, Springfield. I'm highly, I'm very highly likely going to be there because the guy that I'm helping. Has been wanting me or needs help during that show. But I'm in the process of also doing some general cleanup right now. But that's going to come to a screeching halt this weekend while I'm out of town. Then we all know how that goes. But I really haven't done much. I mean, this is all pretty much in standstill. As you can see, I've had the adhesive on those light strips fall apart. A few of them, like right there, I had to repair. But hopefully over the next few weeks I can get back out here and get more and more done. But I just wanted to get back with you guys and give you a product review. I've also got another one of Jason's products here somewhere, but <laughs> finding it right now, as we all know, can be a bit of a bear. Anyway, Mall Rarders, that, that's all, all the update I got for you. But as soon as I find out what the booth number is I'll be at up there at Springfield, I will post a video letting you guys know that. And I'll probably be wearing a train shirt of some type. Which, honestly, oh, there it is. Here's the other piece I was going to demonstrate. This is actually for one of the switch machines. The switch motors that I have, well, it's not a motor, it's a manual throw, but it takes, which ironically, all this is, it's for a double pole, double throw toggle switch. But the way Jason has designed this, it slips right over top of them, making it excessively easy to hook these up. 
as you can see, you have the left and the right, and then the center. And the same thing on the other side. Thus making those super easy to hook up and use. That was the one main reason why I looked into them. And when I, and when I saw these were only three bucks a piece. <laughs> I mean, all you have to do is set this on top of the toggle switch. Solder, and this were sub-miniature toggle switches. Uh, and I don't have one currently handy to show you guys. But it just slides over the connection. But anyway, Mall Raiders, that was the products, two product reviews I wanted to do before I slip out of town again. Anyway, have a good one.